Good morning and welcome to St. David's on this glorious Wednesday afternoon. We thank you once again for joining us for this time of worship and praise. And this week we offer you something just a little bit different. This week we have a reflection prepared by our own children and family ministry coordinator, Alison Steele. So will you please join us as we pray together, as we listen to some wonderful music given us given to us by our own Randy and Laura Scott, and we listen to a wonderful reflection offered to us this morning by Allison. Let us pray. Loving God, we pray for all our children and families this day. We pray that they will feel deeply loved, and we ask you to guide them, their hearts and their actions, with your incredible and unending grace. Protect them and be their source of hope that they may always know the power of your presence and the depth of your caring and understanding heart. We ask all these things through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm missing you all so much. I'm missing our time of worship together. I'm looking forward to the next couple weeks when we all get to be back in the church together. I wanted to come on today and talk a little bit about change and how this world is full of amazing things that are constantly changing or turning from one thing to another. And God has created this miraculous world around us um, and has created so many neat things that start off as one thing and turn into something else. And if you can think of anything like that, the first thing for me that comes to mind would be a butterfly. It starts off as a little caterpillar and then it goes into a chrysalis and it turns into this beautiful butterfly. And it's something that starts off as one thing and turns into something else that is just as unique and just as beautiful, but in a different way. So I have a few examples of things that God has created um, in our world that change. So the first thing I have here is some popcorn kernels. These are hard, they're something we can't eat, there's not much we could do with them. I think we might be able to plant them in the ground um, and they could grow into corn and something we can eat. Or we could add heat to them and pop them into a delicious yummy snack. So they start off as something hard and then in the end they turn into something pretty light and fluffy, which is awesome. The other example I have here are some flowers. Flowers are one of those really neat things because they'll start off as a seed and then they grow into a plant and then you'll get a bud. And ultimately the bud will change and morph and turn into a beautiful flower. And I know this flower will get bigger, but this is the one we had in our garden today. And this is a rose which smells so wonderful and so beautiful. But it's uh, God has created these plants that are constantly changing and turning from one thing to another. The other thing I have for you is colors. I don't know if you can see my colors here, but I have the three primary colors, which are our red, yellow, and blue. Um, these are the constant colors that we always have. But God has created such a unique thing that if we add and mix colors together. So there, if I add my blue, and then I add some red, we get a totally different color, which is actually purple. I'm not sure if you could see that, but it's definitely purple in there. So it's neither blue or yellow anymore. And he, it's pretty fascinating to me that one thing, this is our nice yellow, and this is really cool. If I add red, we would get a nice orange. Or if I add blue, we would get, this one's pretty cool, green. Let's see. So if I add just a little bit of blue, we get a little bit of green. And if I add even more, we get a darker green. So it's not quite blue. It's not yellow, but it's green. Another example of something God created that is constantly changing is you. Um, all of us start off as these young babies who need our parents for food and for safety. 
um, to, in order to survive. And we are constantly growing and changing and getting bigger and turning into adults. We're learning new things. We're getting new likes, um, new dislikes, and we're constantly becoming a new person as we learn and grow. So that's kind of neat too. This fall, we have a lot of changes coming. And I think in fall, there's always changes. We see the leaves changing outside. We get to start new school classes uh, where we have different teachers or different friends in our classes. And this year, especially, there's going to be a lot of changes that are unfamiliar to us and something we're not used to. Um, I know some of us are gonna be starting virtual school this year, which means they're not even actually going to be going to school. Those who are going to school are going to see new rules put in place to keep us safe. Um, and even when we start church, it's going to be a different environment and it's going to look different than what we've always seen. And sometimes these kind of changes are really scary because we just don't know what to expect. So I wanted to see what God had to say about that. So I got my Bible and I looked up Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 through 7. And it says, Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. So that means that by giving our worries and our fears to God, that he is going to take care of us and help us through these challenging times. So what does it mean to give our fears to God? Well, it means to pray. And by asking God for his help, his comfort, and his guidance during these times when we're feeling scared, anxious, nervous, even excited about what will be happening in the next few weeks, he will walk alongside us and be with us and help us through these times. So I just want you to remember that God is here for you. He loves you and he will be with you as we move forward. I look forward to seeing you all in the next coming weeks as we get together together again and be able to worship together. I hope you're all doing well and I look forward to seeing you soon. Hey everyone. Okay, so we just did a really cool video about change and then this happened. It was a super dark, rainy storm outside and then all of a sudden at the very end comes this bright, shiny rainbow and it's just another way that God creates change in the world.
at this time, I would ask you to open up your hearts and your minds as together we offer our prayers. Creator God, we thank you for the gift of children and families. We thank you for the laughter and the smiles that we share. We thank you for times when we share our tears and our hugs. But most of all, we thank you for the love that unites us all. We ask you to bless the parents and children, not just of this parish, but all around the world. Watch over them, that they may be an example of your love and peace to all of your creation. Bless grandparents and mentors, which help them to grow and to learn. Encourage them to share their wisdom with gentleness and truth. Bless our friends and help them to seek you in the changing moments of their lives. Finally, be with us during these anxious and challenging times that we may all know the strength of your love. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.